Uh, hello guys, this is Lucas here from garagefarm.net and today I'm going to show you a new feature that we call auto submit. Uh, let's open render beamer application and go to settings. So right here we have the auto submit option. By default it's turned off, so let's turn it on. And when it's on, we get access to additional settings. We have default priority here. I'm going to use medium. And we have default node groups. I'm going to use all available groups. So these are global settings, all your jobs that you submit uh, when this option auto submit is turned on the settings will be used. So let's close it and let's test it out. So today I'm gonna be using Blender. I have the plugin already installed and you can do the same for your 3D application. So let's open Blender. I have a scene here. So this is a very cool scene by Mantisa. He made it available for free for, for everyone to use. That's uh, so a big shout out to him. So there are two things we wanna do before we send the project to the farm. First, we wanna make sure our render settings are correct. And then we wanna check, uh, we wanna make sure that our plugin is enabled. So, I will be using Cycles Renderer and I will render on our CPU farm. 256 samples, um, full HD resolution. And I don't need all the frames in my animation because it's gonna be only a test. So I will render every 20th frame. File format um, is what I want. I will set the output because that's a requirement for our plugin. Now let's go to preferences and let's make sure the plugin is enabled. Okay, so render beamer has been enabled already. Perfect. Okay, so our scene is ready to be sent. So let's go to render menu and right here we have render beamer and what we call beam it up so let's click up let's click it and now the plugin is working and it's preparing the scene okay the scene is being already uploaded uh, because we are using auto submit option all the process is automated and everything that happens afterwards uh, is done by is handled by our software so you can see the scene has been added to the farm already, so we can close it and we can continue working here. What I want to do is I want to send another shot to the farm. Uh, this time I will render only a still shot. Let me change the, the view here. Uh, so this is the frame uh, I like. I'm gonna uh, use cycles as well. However, I want to bump up the samples a little bit because I want to see more details and the resolution as well. I have to remember to set the output because every time you use the plugin, the scene is being reloaded uh, to its original state. Uh, accept. Okay, so the settings are looking good. CPU, right. So let's send this shot to the farm as well. So same as before, render beamer, beam it up. So plugin is working and it's extracting the scene. All right. Um, we can check uh, the progress here, render beamer. So you can see both jobs are uploaded. Uh, the second job already added to render farm which is exactly what we wanted. So while our jobs are being rendered, 
I want to explain you what the auto submit uh, is in more detail and compare it to our standard workflow. So in our standard workflow, uh, we follow four steps and every step requires some sort of action from us. Yeah, it requires interaction. Uh, step one is when we use the plugin, just like I did in Blender. Uh, once the plugin is finished with preparing the project, then it sends the, the project to our Render Beamer application to start uploading. Uh, when Render Beamer finishes, uh, finishes the uploading process, then we need to go to our web dashboard, uh, open, open the scene, and choose our settings for this current job. Then when the settings are ready, we submit the job to the farm. And when rendering is finished, we can download our frames and we have a choice. We can do it either manually or automatically. It's totally up to, uh, up to us. So this is the standard workflow, yeah? Four steps. Now in auto submit workflow, which, uh, which I have used uh, in this video, there is only one step. So the four step workflow has been reduced to one step and that step is using the plugin. Everything else, all the other steps are, are automated. So for instance, the upload process, the job settings, uh, job submission, when you have to click and submit the job to the farm, and then the download process, they are all fully automated and require no interaction from the user. All right, so this is the auto submit workflow in a nutshell. Now let's check on our rendering progress. So let's, let's open our web dashboard. Okay, so this is the web dashboard and we can see our two jobs here already uh, uploaded and already added to the queue. So here we have the animation it's already finished or almost almost finished 95 percent and here we have the still shot which is also active and is rendering now when we select the job and open this panel right here expanded we can see the uh, the rendering progress in real time so as you can see the node is working uh, you can see the ram usage the cpu usage and also down here, you can see the frames that are already finished and other related information. Also, you can click on it, right click on it and see the render log in real time. A very useful feature. Okay, so let's, let's close this panel. We can see the same on our second job, the render render information is right here. Uh, we can see the notification for our first job that uh, rendering has been finished. That's great. And that our output is on our local machine. Let's give it some time for our still shot to finish. And when it's done, let's review the frames. Okay, uh, the job has finished. We can go back to Beamer to downloads panel and we can see both outputs are here uh, just in case we can hit refresh to force the sync so here's the animation all the frames are already uh, downloaded and here's the still shot it's also downloaded so we can open the output folder here are, uh, the the jobs that we rendered and here are the frames all are looking good as intended. Let's open it to preview some of them. 
All right, looking real good. Let's do the same with the still shot right here. There you go. Beautiful. Um, now, before we finish this video, I just want to recap. Let's, uh, let's recap and let's uh, compare both workflows one last time. Uh, in standard workflow, we have multi, multiple steps to follow. Each individual step requires some sort of action. Uh, we have more control over every step and all the settings. We also have access to individual setting, settings on every step. And the whole process is more manual and a bit less convenient. Auto submit workflow, on the other hand, is only one step. Uh, we get less control overall because all of the steps are automated. Uh, we have only global settings for all the jobs that we, that we submit through auto submit workflow. And the whole process is faster uh, and more convenient. Both workflows are great and they both have different use cases. So I encourage you to give it a try and happy rendering from GarageFarm.net team.